Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a full face of one color. Either the packaging is going to be pink or the product inside is going to be pink. So I'm doing a full face of only pink makeup. So it's pretty straightforward. So let's just jump right into it. So a few weeks ago, I went to my local Marshalls and was shopping around and I saw this brow pencil. So as you can tell, there's some pink on the edges. Okay, you see, you see, love it, love it. So this is the Creme or Cream Shop brow pencil. So there's a spoolie on one side, a pencil on the other. Now, with that being said, I've only used this like one time and I'm pretty sure I hated it the one time I used it. So we're just gonna, um, we're just gonna give it a shot for this video because we have to, those are the rules. So I also do not know if anybody has ever done this video before or not. So I'm just kind of shooting in the dark, but if y'all know of anybody who has done a video like this, please tag them in the comments down below. So this brow pencil is okay. It's not quite my shade. I think it's a little too warm for me. And I also don't like the fact that the end is literally so chunky. I like a thin pencil when I do my brows because now just look at how harsh that looks Ugh, yuck anyways we're gonna make it work for the video so all right so this is the brow now I'm gonna go off camera and do the other brow so I'll be right back all right so we are back these are what the brows are looking like you know what it's good enough I feel like every video that I've done lately I always manage to give myself a sucky brow product so we're just gonna move on <laughs> which next is eyeshadow so I have these two different palettes we're gonna be tapping into today I have the trend beauty neutrally nude eyeshadow palette here it's a gorgeous palette it has some big shades here which I think you can use as highlighter on your face and then it has all of these beautiful eyeshadow shades here so we're gonna take some of these purpley pink shades I think and then we're also going to tap into this Huda Beauty Ruby Obsessions palette here which I've had forever hence why it's literally been severely loved so we're gonna take some of those pink shades too now let's dip into our Huda Beauty palette here and let's take we're gonna start by building up the color. So we're gonna take this shade right here and focus this on the outer corner and in the crease as well. Just going back and forth. Now next shade we're gonna tap into is this beautiful pink color right here, just a little bit because it's a pretty dark shade. And we're gonna try to focus this on the outer corner and outer crease of the eye, not taking it inwards too far, but just enough to kind of give it that blend. And we're using the same brush for all of these steps that I've done. So now I'm going to dip, dip. Now I'm going to dip into this shade here which is the really deep plum color and kind of just stamp this on that outer crease with no extra product and we're just going to gently go over that shade to really blend it out maybe tap a little bit into that pink shade we used just a little bit ago and just go back and forth between these two colors to really build it up to our desired liking. We are going to get a flat type of concealer brush here to pack on those shades. Now again, I've never used these shimmer shades before, so I do not know how they're going to perform. But I'm going to touch into this one and a little bit of this one without any setting spray or any type of spray to make it more pigmented. And we're just going to see how it performs. I, I don't even know what to say. This is stunning. I didn't even spray my brush and these shimmers are shimmering. They're doing everything they're supposed to do and more. Wow, I'm a little, I'm a little gagged. 
I thought for sure that I was going to have to spray my brush, but clearly I'm not. I'm just taking a little bit of that middle shade to go over top of these light shades just to kind of keep that pink toned color in here. I'm loving that though. That is gorgeous. Taking that big fluffy brush we used earlier just to kind of buff out the edges here and taking it into the crease a little bit as well. Okay, so this is the eye right now. I'm gonna go do this eye off camera and then we'll be back so we can apply some lashes. All right, so eyes are done. This is what they're looking like. Stunning, gorgeous. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of some black liner. Now, this isn't technically pink. This is technically purple, but this is the closest packaging I have to pink. So when it comes to liner, so this is what we're using. So I'm just gonna create a tiny line. To really blend my false lashes with my real lashes here. Alright, so for mascara, we're going to be using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Waterproof Mascara. This is a light pink packaging, so it goes along with the trend today. And we're just going to apply a small coat to the upper lashes before we apply the false lashes. All right, now onto false lashes. Now this technically doesn't follow the rules because these don't come in a pink packaging, but um, these are my current favorite lashes. So these are the ones we're gonna be wearing today. Okay, so lashes are on. This is what we're looking like. Gorgeous, good enough. Okay, next is foundation. Now, I don't have a foundation that is pink, okay? I've looked and looked and looked and looked and looked and I can't find anything. So, foundation isn't gonna follow the rules either because I don't have one foundation. I don't even know if there's a foundation out there that comes in a pink packaging. So, this is what we're using today. So I'm using the Kat Von D Serum Good Apple Foundation mixed with the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy Smooth, sorry. Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless. So I'm mixing them together. This one's too light for me, this one's too dark. So we're gonna do a little mixture. So we're gonna do a pump of this, a pump of this, just like so. And then we're going to mix in with a brush. Some of the Maybelline. lid back on this so I don't spill foundation everywhere. That would be bad. Ugh, have you guys ever spilled foundation on your outfit? Yeah, I know for darn sure I have and it was, it's the worst day ever whenever that happens. So highly do not recommend it for anybody. It's the worst. All right, so I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush to stamp all this foundation in and then I will go over top with a damp beauty blender when I am done with the brush. All right, so now I'm going to take my damp beauty sponge here, go over all of those edges, blend everything together, get in all of those nooks and crannies, right next to the brows, up on the hairline, nose, in those creases of the nose here. Just making sure everything is blended nicely. All right, so now we have concealer. So, of course, as you can tell, because you're probably keeping them up on the trends just like I am, we are going to be using the Maybelline Eraser Multi-Use Concealer in the shade 160. This is a pink concealer and there is pink on the packaging. Now with that being said, I'm going to mix in the tiniest bit of my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer. So you apply this and then you apply this over top. That's just how the perfect combo with this pink concealer works. So that's what we're doing. So this is in the shade 
185, the Fenty Beauty one. So we're gonna take a little bit of that right here and the tiniest bit on the T-zone areas as well. And then we're going to blend that in. And then we'll go over top of that with the pink concealer. Okay, just like so. Now, now we go in with the pink one. So it's a twist lid, so you do a few twists and it pops up into the squishy tube. And you just kind of press it on the under eyes to get the product out and I use quite a bit because I really like the pink effect and you really only want to use the pink on the under eyes you don't really want to use it anywhere else I mean you can there's no rules to makeup you can if you want I just like the pink effect under the eyes now Technically, I'm not supposed to use cream bronzer because I don't have a packaging that is pink. This is the closest I can get to pink. This is like a rose gold. So this is what we're using. The Fenty Beauty Butter Biscuit Cream Bronzer. It's again, it's a rose gold container. So that's that's the closest I got when it comes to cream bronzer, y'all. I'm sorry. Don't hate me. Don't hate me. And I'm just taking a little bit on the cheekbones. And this is really like the only place I'm gonna focus this today because I don't want to look too bronzy I want to look more blushy today so I'm just adding this for a little bit of definition in the cheek area and maybe a little bit on the jawline and that is it now it is time for cream blush Ugh! and let me tell you what this blush right here this is the elf putty blush look at the color of this Let's just take a minute. Isn't that stunning? It's stunning. So this is in the shade Caribbean. I'm obsessed. It's extremely pigmented. So when I tell you, you need to go in with a very light hand with this product, you need to go in with a very light hand with this product. It is so pigmented. So I'm just gonna take like a Kabuki brush here and dip my brush in, literally, that's it. And go on my cheeks. A little goes a long way with this blush. And it is stunning. Stunning. And super affordable. You can literally pick this up at your local Walmart or your local drugstore for under $10, which is insane. And it performs this good for under $10? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think you guys saw me use this in my full face of e.l.f. makeup and yeah your girl's still loving it all right so now we're going to set the under eyes because they're starting to crease pretty good at the moment so we really want to set them before they get too creasy so to do that i'm going to take the kylie jenner setting powder in the shade translucent love this stuff and obviously it's a pink packaging so we can use it so i'm just gonna take my finger and really make sure that this under eye is blended and then we're going to take our powder puff and go right underneath there same thing over here really making sure these creases are blended in and then we're going to set them in place So really focusing this powder on the T-zone areas, around the mouth, on the bridge of the nose, down on the chin, upper lip, and the forehead as well. Okay, so now really quick, we're going to smoke out the lower lash line. All right, so next up is powder bronzer. So we're going to be taking this Benefit Cheeks star palette now as you can tell there is some gold and some pink in this palette so that's why we're using it today because it goes along with the pink vibes all right so I'm going to take 
the Hula Bronzer shade right here in this palette and warm up the face and then we will go in with blush in a bit as well but we're first going to warm up the skin with some Hula Bronzer. All right, so bronzer is done. Now it's on to blush. Now I have these two different ones here. I have this French Kiss Glow Powder. So this is a very shimmery blush, okay, which I'm usually not all for because I think it looks really patchy on the face. But this is by Cab Cosmetics. And then here, I have the Patrick Ta Volume 2 Blush Palette, which I'm obsessed with, and I love to mix these two shades together. So, I don't know. I think we're going to start here and see what this looks like on the skin. So, I don't know. I'm just going to dip in, like, twice, I guess, and gently apply this to the skin. But, yeah, this is more like a highlighter. So, I wouldn't even say that this is a blush, necessarily. This is all highlight. So... I'm just gonna apply this to like both the upper parts of the cheekbones here and some to the nose and chin, forehead. And um, that's all we're gonna do with this one. This is definitely more so a highlight than a blush. So we are going to take this Patrick Dot Volume 2 palette here and I'm really just going to dip into this pink shade here to go with that pink vibes. So I'm just going to pack this on. I'm setting spray really quick before we go in with highlighter and lips. So I'm taking my e.l.f. Fine Mist Stay All Night Setting Spray. We are going to be taking that same Benefit Cheeks palette here and using the Cookie Highlighter, which is right there, and applying that all over the high points of the cheekbones just a little bit because we already have some of that glow coming through from that blush highlighter whatever it is that we applied earlier okay so this is what we're looking like now we're gonna move on to lips so for lip liner today I'm going to be using my favorite lip liner of all time I've been using this in my last few videos because I am obsessed with it this is the NYX Professional Lip Pencil Liner in the shade Ever. So I'm just going to outline the lips and then we will go in with lipstick. So the lips are lined, they're ready to go. Now I have two different liquid matte lipsticks I'm deciding between. I also think I might use both. So first we have the Jaclyn Cosmetics lipstick in the shade Faith, and then we have the Ofra Long Lasting lipstick in the shade Pasadena. So I love the two shades. This one is more of a pinky shade, and then the Ofra one is more of like a mauve shade. So I think we're gonna use both. I'm gonna first start off with the Ofra one. And then I'll go over top of this with the Jaclyn Cosmetics one. Okay, so this is the Ofra one by itself. It's gorgeous, stunning, love it. Now let's go over top with a little bit of the Jaclyn one. All right, y'all. This is the finished look. What do we think? I love it. I love the challenge, it was so fun. Let me know in the comments down below what other colors you would like to see me do a full face of. Red, orange, green, purple, pink, blue, turquoise, yellow, whatever. I'm totally up for it. This was super fun to do. I just might have to go buy a full face of blue makeup because I have like none. So anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe before you leave, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Mwah. Bye!